Welcome to Spotlight on Frazy. I'm Hank Ludke, and I'm here once again with Andy Paulson. Hi, Andy. Hey, hi, Hank. How are you doing? Tremendous. What a gorgeous fall day. It's beautiful. Finally, the rain went away. You notice, you notice that, too? <laughs> Absolutely, after working outside on the house all day. So, you know, I understand besides robotics, you're involved in the construction trades, too. Yep, we're, we're the construction trades class is building a house this year for Virgil and Sharon Johns. Uh, it was committed to, the, to them last year. We knew at the end of the year we were going to build a house for them. Um, fortunately, we've been able to have a lot of kids sign up for the class. It's a pretty popular program. Um, we had 23 kids sign up for the program, and it's really tough to have that many kids in the class. So we ended up trying to drop it down a little bit. We end up having 16 in the class. Um, there are four juniors, and the rest are seniors. Uh, we want to keep some of the juniors in there as well so that we can start them on for next year and kind and keep them as a foreman if they want to take the class next year so they can kind of be in charge. Well, that's a great deal, you know, especially with the two-year progression and stuff like this. And I know um, with when uh, Mr. Olson was here, we still uh, always, uh, you know, used to build about a house a year. Yep. And then you've taken over from him now. Yep. I've been really fortunate to have a lot of help from them. OK Lumber has been a great hardware store to work with us. And John has come up here almost every day to help us, lead us in the right direction, make sure that we're on the right track to get the house done. Uh, we're actually only building a portion of the house. Our beams are only 50 feet long, so we're only able to build 50 foot of the house. And it's going to be a 68 foot house. So there will be some add-ons on the house as time goes on once the house gets moved. Well, and I know one of the last ones, that, the last one that was built here ended up being an add-on too, where they built the house and then they added on a garage and like a foyer. I think that's pretty common for a lot of people to have a smaller home built here and it helps save on some of the costs for some of the people. They'll build the foundation there and we'll move the basic home in. On this one, we're going to build a garage and 18 more feet of the house and then there'll be a porch built on on the front as well. So it's, it's a good opportunity for people in the community to have a home built and moved in to save some of that cost. How many square foot is this as it sits right now? As it sits right now, we're looking at 28 foot wide and 50 foot long. So that's a pretty substantial house, yeah. over 1,000 square feet. And how many bedrooms? We are looking at a three-bedroom home. One of the bedrooms is going to be used as a studio instead, but it will be considered a bedroom as well. So a th three-bedroom, two-bathroom home. Um, and then, like I said, there will be an add-on for some more rooms as well. Well, and I know in the past, you know, we had kind of were worried that we were going to lose the construction trades class simply because of the way the economy went. But as always, it didn't happen here. It's been nice that the city of Frazee has come through. The, the community members are great, and they understand the importance of the program. And it's great for the kids to have this opportunity. A lot of the kids may go into building trades or construction trades as time goes on. So to have this opportunity here for these kids to learn this is great. And, and they're, they're doing a really good job. Well, it looks like it, you know, and it's it's always great to be with you here, Andy. And I look, I'm looking forward not only to more things with the robotics as that uh, the new projects develop there, but also when the house is done and Mr. Hayden comes in and picks it up, that maybe that day, maybe I can catch our camera lady, Raina Zima, here, and we will go and watch this being moved. It'd be great to give you a tour again and see what the house looks like on the inside once we get to that point. We can see it move to the place where it's supposed to be. It's going to go to Red Willow, so it'll actually be in town here as well, which would be great. Well, and I really appreciate all you do for the school and the community, Andy, and working with the kids because, you know, uh, I'm a product of this school, too. Well, thanks a lot, Hank. I really appreciate it. And with that, we'll be right back with another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ledke, and I'm still here at Frazee High School. But I'm here with media student Felicia Tyken. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Hank. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And, you know, I know here a couple of years ago, you actually escaped Becker County in the area. And where did you go? I went to Okinawa, Japan. And what did you do when you were in Okinawa? I visited my aunt, Angela, who has been in the military for 19 years. And I got to go over there and see her. And I know it was tremendous. We had to uh, hold your mother down and, and uh, keep uh, reassuring her that you were actually coming back. Yes, she was very worried, but she knew it was for a good cause. So. Well, and, and I know that now you're going to escape again. And so what is going on? Where are you going to go this time, Felicia? I'm going to go to Rwanda, Africa. I got accepted into a program called the Global Volunteer Network. And what, what's a global volunteer network? What are they, a, a division of anything important? 
The Global Volunteer Network is a branch off of the Peace Corps, and I intend to do that after the college, so this is a good way to get involved in that. And so you're going to be going next summer or next spring? Next summer, I leave probably July 10th, I'll be leaving. And, of course, this is not a, a freebie, is it? No, it is definitely not a freebie. <laughs> what's, what's a trip and everything going to run you? Well, with my room and board, my meals, my airfare, my everything that's in, that needs to be done in order for me to go over there, such as getting immunizations, um, it's probably going to cost around $5,000 is what we've, is the number that we've come up with. A lot of money. Yes, it is. <laughs> and then I understand that your aunt might be able to go with you too, and, and uh, which is nice, and she's a, a service member and familiar with travels all over the world. Yes, I'm excited that I'll be able to be going with her. I know your mother's a lot more comfortable <laughs> about that. Yes, she was. <laughs> and so what has brought you to this point? I think that everybody should contribute some way that they can, in some way that they can, to do something to better themselves or other people's lives. Well, I think you do that around here. I know that uh, you make your little brother's life better sometimes when he isn't getting in trouble. Uh, maybe you could say that. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to present you with your first $100 towards your trip courtesy of the mayor of Frazee. And I'm looking for at least 49 of the other people out there, or maybe 98 other people that got 50, or we can break it down thereof, because we're going to be having some fundraisers for you. And now if they wanted to send you some money, how would they go about it, or how would they get a hold of you, Felicia? Well, I'm going to have jars set up around local businesses around town. I'm thinking of doing one at the Sipe Drug, and then, since I'm an employee at Frazee Family Foods, I'll probably have one set up there. So you guys can drop money off, or if you would want to talk to me more about my trip, you could get a hold of me. Um, my number is 218-849-7323 if you have any questions. Well, I, I'm excited for you. I'm, I'm really happy you're doing this. And I can't imagine all that's going on in your head about this and it's going to keep going now until next year so we wish you the best dear thank and we know you'll do well yes thank you and just another fine example of volunteerism people so we will catch you next week on spotlight on freezing